Look, I, I think that the decision was taken by the Scottish people uh, only a few years ago. Uh, in, in recent memory, I think we should respect that. We should uh, also focus on uh, what I think the people of the whole of the UK, Scotland, England, everybody wants us to look at, which is uh, the economic position we're in, uh, the COVID, uh, effect of COVID on the, the country, and then the post COVID issues that we're, we're, we're grappling with. That's the focus of the government. We're working with uh, our, our friends in the Scottish government, uh, in, the, in the Scottish administration, uh, on, on those issues. And that's, that's what you'd expect the government to do. If you want to make a solid case, of course, for staying in the, European, uh, for staying in the uh, United Kingdom, wouldn't the granting of this order, though, be one way of at least taking away the potential stick that Nicola Sturgeon could have to start beating... Uh, the UK government around the head with uh, in not granting that? I, I think that the most, the most important thing we can all do, uh, whatever level of government we're in in the UK, whether it's local or regional or national, is focus on the things that people really want us to deal with. Number one is the tackling the cost of living. This government, never forget, is we're helping people in the, in the immediate term, uh, £1,200 uh, for 8 million of the most vulnerable households, £400 for everybody to help with the costs of, of energy. That's, and that, that, by the way, is the firepower of the UK uh, exchequer. That's the, that's the firepower of our, uh, of our single uh, UK uh, treasury. And I think it's a, it's a great thing. We should keep going with it.